Hi, it is the 9th of May, 2016. This is Ralph Turciano to review with you the top three health headlines of the past seven days. And to start off with number one, studies suggest medical error is now third leading cause of death in the U.S. Coming out of John Hopkins. They estimate that 250,000 deaths per year are due to medical errors in the United States. This is their words, not mine resulting in 10% of all U.S. deaths are now due to medical error, making it the third highest cause of death in the U.S. Enough said, you can uh, draw conjecture from there. Article number two, please do not attack the messenger. If you have a problem with the study, get the study retracted or critique the study. I'm just reporting what it says. Adverse events following HPV vaccination, Alberta, coming out of Alberta between 2006 and 2014. In the study were some disturbing uh, numbers, so to say. Now keep in mind, most emergency room visits all were resolved and there were very few permanent injuries. But let us begin. Among those who received HPV vaccine, 19,351 out of 195,270, about 10%, had an emergency room visit within 42 days of immunization, including things like mental behavioral nerve, nerve developmental disorders with the most frequently coded, digestive system diseases, injury poisoning, da 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 da. I'll let you look into that. But the most disturbing part, I think, of the whole HPP vaccine reaction article was as follows, you, as read, or I should say quoted in the conclusion. Adverse events following HPV immunization Alberta, in Alberta are low, consistent with those seen elsewhere. Again, that's for you to draw conjecture, look at the study, and formulate your own opinion. Number three. This is in regard to Montmorency cherry juice and dropping blood pressure. Actually, some pretty significant results in a short period of time. The researchers found that the participants who were given cherry concentrates saw a peak reduction in the blood pressure of seven points within just three hours after consuming the drink. Now, to give you the mind a little, to give you put it in perspective, so to say, they found that a five to six point drop in blood pressure over a sustained period, for example, was uh, actually resulted in 38% reduced risk of stroke and 23% reduced risk of coronary heart disease. So, something to drink on a daily basis in regard to help them keep the blood pressure down. And it wasn't a lot they had to drink either. It was only a pretty small amount. Uh, take into account Montmorency cherry juice, and that may be able to help you keep your blood pressure stabilized. Again, this is Ralph Trigiano. These are the top three health headlines of the past seven days, being May 9th, 2016. And as always, thank you very much for being there. Catch you guys next week. See you then. Bye.